Hello guys, today we are going to read temperatures with the Arduino and a sensor. The sensor we are going to use is the Dallas 18B20. As you can see, it looks like a simple transistor, but it's actually a digital sensor. It can read temperatures from minus 55 degrees to plus 125 degrees. It has a configurable resolution of 9 to 12 bits and it has a 64-bit address to use with other sensors that comply with a one-wire protocol. The sensor has three legs, the first one being ground, the second one is data, and the last one is VCC. This is a fairly simple configuration, so let's jump straight on to the mounting part. You will need the following parts, an Arduino, a breadboard, a 4.k home resistor or close to it, and of course the sensor. As I said, the configuration is pretty simple, so just follow this and you should be fine. The reason this is so simple is because you communicate with the sensor using only one wire, hence the protocol name, one wire. Start by creating a new project. To communicate with a sensor, there are some complex things to be done, such as requesting information and receiving it. As you probably noticed, this communication doesn't have a clock or any synchronization methods, so it can be hard to control the transfer and receive speeds. Thankfully, you don't have to do any of this. Someone already created libraries to handle all of this. You will need two libraries. The first one is one wire that allows to communicate using the one-wire protocol. The second one is the Dallas Temperature Library. This enables communication with the sensor in specific. Start by creating a one-wire object. In the parameter, you indicate the port. In the Arduino, you are going to use to communicate with sensor or sensors in the one-wire data line. I use the pin number 2. Now, let's instantiate a Dallas temperature object. This receives a pointer to a one-wire object. To get the pointer, use the commercial AND. Prepare the serial communication. We are using this so that we can read temperature values in the computer. Also, initialize the temperature object just like this. Now, the way this works is that you first request a library to get the data from all sensors and only after you can access them. To request it, use the following function. After this, let's print to the screen using the serial print function from the Arduino libraries. To access the temperature in Celsius, just write get temp by index and then provide the index of the sensor. Since I only have one, I will put zero. If I were to have two, I would, I would be able to select zero or one. Because I want it to print slowly, I will add a delay of one second in each cycle. And now let's send the code to the Arduino. As you can see, when I touch the sensor with my finger, the temperature starts to rise, and when I release it, it falls almost instantaneously, with great accuracy. If you like this video, give it a like! Thanks for watching!